Hey guys, it's Robert and Will here from uh, Team Sneak Attack Gaming. Uh, we're presented to the, is it round two of the Sneak Attack Interv Interventional? <laughs> yes, there's. In Pardon? It's round two of the winner's bracket of the Sneak Attack Invitational. You know what, that's going to be the last time I intro a video. <laughs> going to get it right, but never okay. mind. So we have... Um, um, we have Ryan Morehouse playing Zorok Baynet, and we have Seb Simmons playing Zoro Pod, so Zorok Golisopod. It's going to be quite an interesting matchup. I don't believe that I've seen this matchup be played before, but neither deck are one shotting it except for Golisopod's GX attack, which can do 210, which will play a big part in carrying a Zorok and even a Baynet. It can do uh, 180 with choice band. It's 180. Oh, it's not even 180 or 30. Man, my math is bad. <laughs> well, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Galissa Pop for quite a while. So hmm. both decks have the uh, capability of KOing Lele's. So it's going to be really interesting. No, I, th if... I don't think either one of them want to bench a Lele in this matchup. No. So it was quite a good thing that Ryan started with the Bridget to get the shop it and double mm. Zoros out straight away. And he also started with Azora in the active as well. He is playing the Moonless Madness one, which we saw Adam Hawkins play as well. Um, it does give the opportunity to attach a Rainbow Energy and confuse your opponent. Not only that, the Rainbow Energy puts on a ten, uh, one damage counter, which the, the Burnett can eventually move off the Zorak. It's very key to uh, have that 10 damage to KO a Lele as well, because with 10 supporters in the Discord pile, Choice Band, and with that damage to move on to the uh, Lele you're going to attack, it does do 170 damage. Well, it looks like Ryan definitely got the strongest start for now. Um, Seb was only able to get one Zerua on the bench, but that's of course he had to end, which isn't ideal. But Ryan, he got a Zorak turned to a Burnett. He's got an Evo Soda for a second Zorak, so he's going to be able to draw plus four cards. If he gets DC, that is one dead Wimpod. Um, the interesting thing is that Seb did manage to remove Ryan's Parallel City and play his own. However, that does hinder his own Galissapod's attacking power by 20 damage as well. So let's, um, let's see if that will come in to have any sort of... Uh, what, what word am I looking for? Any sort of impact on the match as we go forward. I think you need a Galissapod for it to be able to attack. It doesn't look like yeah. Seb's going to be able to get one out any time soon. Um, he's got uh, Ryan's got a Guzmo in hand, which he just got rid of. Um, so if he wanted to, he could have got. Oh, he didn't get the DC. Mm, I think Ryan was um, just getting rid of the Guzmo there to keep the Ace of Roller in case his uh, Zorak gets hit for quite a bit of damage. Did he use all three trades? I believe so. He did, yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. So I was wrong. That like we might see a good support, but and that's a maybe big. Not big bridge from uh, and it's only going to be doing player. 10 damage if anything because <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be coming into the active on the turn to be able to do any damage mm. any significant damage that is Ooh. Ryan has an option to actually get an attack off with a bayonet if he has nothing else he can do it looked like what about 40 or 50 damage no, uh, be a bit a little bit more than that because of the supporters in his uh, discard pile at the moment. Hang on. I thought three. I think it's sixty it's damage. Like so it was ten short. Maybe he shouldn't have got rid of the rainbow. Mm, if he kept but the rainbow, he, the... he would have been able to get a KO on the wooden pod. Assuming he'd be able to get rid of uh, get a float stone to put Zark. Nice the bed. little spicy play by Ryan here. He's debating whether to play the delinquent because Seb only has four cards in his hand and it does free up some bench space for him at the same time and it puts in the extra supporter into the discard but um no it's definitely a good play there's not much going on for um said right now gives ryan a bit of time to set up uh something else that's very interesting because uh ryan plays rainbows zoar can actually copy uh Galisopod's gx attack that is true, but I think it's going to be very hard to get two rainbows onto a Zoroark. It's just, it's just the little things. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. <laughs> we do both know a player that 
<laughs> will actually try that. <laughs> we do, but he shall not be named for once <laughs> in a video. He, he who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, though, uh, Seb's just opting for the mano. He, he hasn't got any trades. I believe he just attached the DC, or was it the Flood Stone? I, trade? I can't remember. I think he traded the Bridget just now. I no, kinda... he played Bridget last turn. Okay, I kind of just completely lost that bit. But anyways, the 100 damage won't exactly matter. He's just got Ace Roll in his hand, so he's going to get rid of that damage after trading to give himself the plus two cards. So Ryan's going to trade away a Tapu Lele. And he does get an enhanced hammer as well, which could be very big for Ryan. That means that he can do some damage as well as get rid of that DCE in um, Seb's hand, in on Seb's Zoroark. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think Ryan's trying to play as conservatively as possible and trying not to bench the bayonet because it is weak to Zoroark, but it is a threat against Tapu Lele's, which is, I think stopped Seb from playing as many Tapu Lele's as he would have liked if he even got yes. there even um, just one Tapu Lele on the bench and that the bayonet just becomes so powerful so for now it looks like it's just going to be trading damage between each other and it's going to be a case of whoever doesn't who well, whoever isn't able to heal first who isn't going to get the max potions or ace of rollers and the puzzle of times to get everything back that's generally how these games turn out. It'd be interesting to, to see. Sorry. No, it's, it's okay. Sorry. I'll just stick to the obvious here. Yeah. It'd be <laughs> interesting to see what Seb chose to get with the Mallow. Um, he, I would expect. Okay, he just got an N. Okay. I was gonna say I would expect mm -hmm. he got uh, for his first card a uh, card that he wouldn't really want right now to trade into another supporter or something. Oh, well, there's no guarantee you can get a support off that one trade. No, um, with Mallow, it's two cards. So oh, the God, second card would definitely be a supporter that he would have wanted. Of course, yeah, you would have thought you'd have got goes, maybe um, just a drunk card and then have put get rid Bridget of the... up and then got rid of Yeah, you're, you're, or... you're very right. But Seb obviously knows what he is doing. He's probably saving, a, if he has a Bridget left in his deck, he's probably saving it for a turn where he needs that those extra couple of bench spaces to take a KO. Yeah, no, Seb's a very experienced player. All season, he's, he used uh, Zark with Lycanroc. Um, so he's very familiar, even though this is a very different deck. Mm. Um, the, the concept is still somewhat the same. So yeah, he did. Yeah, no doubt uh, what he's doing. He has played Zorak variants all season. He is, he's, um, I played against him at a League Cup and he was playing Zorak Garbador. Um, so he has sort of. Very, he's varied in Zorart builds, but I think his main build that he usually sticks with is the build that his uh, dad is playing in this tournament, which is uh, Zorart like and rock like Rob said. I guess uh, like son, like father. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Brian opted to not play what he's been playing all season. Oh, um, oh. okay. Something just happened with... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just blank screen. Thanks, Ryan. I reckon something might have come up because Ryan's computer, I think, is he's using a Mac, and it's very temperamental with Discord. Yes, so. very. Uh, I wish we saw what he got with the, uh, the resource manager. He, want, but... he, he wanted it wanted to stay a secret. So um... it'll be a mystery for all of us. Um. So what can um, what can Ryan do this turn? He's got double, well, he's got triple puzzle in his hand. Mm, um, one more, and he can hammer. summon Exodia. But um... Um, that's still only four cards. You need five to summon Exodia. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd imagine he'll get um, if he's got a field blower in there. He might need that. He might want to take the KO on the rank, or unless he's got the um, well, he's got a Guzma in there, which we know of. So maybe a Guzma mm. DC to carry the bench Zoroark. Speak of the devil himself, he gets it off the uh, trade. So he's going to uh, get a DC. He probably... Um, he def one of his cards is definitely going to be DCE. It's just a debate whether he gets rid of the parallel as well. So well, he, he needs to get rid of the parallel, so he's going to need to... Um, 
get a field blower. But he's so he, so he doing that. Uh, how much damage was the bench as well? Got 120, I believe. Oh yes, I was thinking that he might carry the. No, right. He still needs. He still needs he can... one more bench space, but um, probably the Zorak would be better to. The Zorak uh, might be better to carry, but he can also get rid of the energy on the Oranguru as well. Is that good. is very true. He could also. Um, I don't know how many cards that Seb's got in hand, but he, he could, could also, also delinquent, delinquent because he has two yeah. cards. Seb has two cards in hand. So Ryan just opts to get a, a second Guzma into his hand. That's just maximizing the amount of Guzma outs he has. Oh, it's 130. Where did the other 10 come from? Sorry? Where did the other 10 come from? He always had 130. But where did the other 10? Because what can only do... Oh, did he have 100 and choice band? He had choice band uh, with 100, oh. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> Rob's been testing too much and his brain's gone to a bit of bit like mush. So I haven't added it. it yet. I haven't added it yet. It's always twenty to eight. I'm a very hungry boy. I'm hoping. I, I was hoping for a quick game today, but then that's not that shot. I think so, with so. with Ryan against Seb, it's not going to be very quick. No. Um, we. I, I'd probably expect. I'd. I'd say this will be a three. Uh, three games. I think it. It will be three games or two very very close games. Yeah. Either or. <laughs> just stating the Remember, obvious Just again, say like... all the options. Just say all the options so we're always yeah. right. Yeah, just like football commentators, they just do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Technically, I said that, so I'm not wrong. Oh, if, if, if they score now, they win. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? They scored. <laughs> <laughs> they scored and they won. I was right. Yay. <laughs> if they don't score now, they lose. <laughs> or tie. <laughs> or tie. Like, what? Sorry. <laughs> um, so Seb right now he's using I believe a single puzzle. Um, I don't know because PCGO uh, doesn't tell you if they're using two or not. Well, I will look on his screen. <laughs> I will look. I'll be a bit cheeky and look on his screen. I can confirm. Periscope. He's using two puzzles right now. Okay. So he gets an N and a double colorless with those two puzzles. Um, that's really going to be good because Ryan has a massive hand with full of trade options full of options to do to Seb next turn and I think Seb just does not want anything to happen to, his, to him he just wants to uh, get some more stuff shuffled back in if he needs to if he doesn't get a DC to attack and then he can something. get those uh, puzzle times back straight away yeah so the puzzle very times. unlikely for um, uh, Seb can get a retaliation KO. I guess it's not unlikely, but he will need a delinquent or a field blower to be able to do it. Mm. But luckily, he got uh, end into four nice cards. Mm -hmm. um, very um, just discardable. Doesn't really need the ends at all. Mm -hmm. Ryan's been uh, taking lessons from Rob on how to top deck things and how <laughs> not to get punished by end. So. <laughs> no, Ryan's done very well. He's got us. He's has even got many cards left in his deck. He's only got sixteen, I believe, including his hand. It's only twenty cards. Mm. With um, all these arcs, he can just uh, get them all now. And he's starting to go for the bonnet. Mm. Rob didn't even get punished for a coal wrist for two cards, I believe. No, of course not. At the beginning of the game, he didn't get punished <laughs> for that sort of stuff. Um, <laughs> He's putting the rainbow onto the bench, uh, onto the be on the bench so uh, He doesn't need it oh. anywhere else. But that really needs one psychic to attack. Uh, mm. He could be preparing. For... He could be preparing. He did get rid of a rainbow. It is in his uh, discard pile. So if he gets two more puzzle of times, he can potentially get that rainbow back and then uh, copy an attack. And Ryan <laughs> hit the blower off of Cynthia. That's huge. And not only that, he's got a, he's got a. Um, uh, yeah, his parallel of his own. Yeah. His own parallel city to limit Seb's bench as well. He also has a Kukui in his hand, which is one difference um, to Adam's list. Adam Hawkins, I know we shouldn't be saying his name, but um, it is a difference, and we'll see if it pays off for Ryan because it does allow um, Bayonet to do hit 190, it allows Zorok to hit 170. Those are some really nice numbers. Both of those, of course, are with choice band as well. 
It was also quite interesting that he uh, didn't attack with the Zorak GX. He opted to save his Ranguru and Tapu Lele in his hand because he did have enough damage output to uh, kill uh, the Ranguru with the Zorak. Hmm. I think uh, Seb needs a choice ban now to get a KO and a double colorless as well. Yeah, I think Ryan's saving the Ranguru so it doesn't get KO'd itself because he needs it to uh, resource management. Because Seb has, uh, Brian has used a lot of resources and he does need to get them all back. Hmm. And Oranguru, remember, bleh, I'm becoming an old man for some reason. Um, Oranguru mirror matches are never fun. No. <laughs> but luckily, there's no. Uh, these are these are two decks that are more on the aggressive side of things. Mm -hmm. Oranguru's there is more of a, a late game option rather than to lock your opponent out of the game. Yes, so it's um, like they're sort of builds that are kind of loosely based on uh, Zoro control, but with more attacking power. No, exactly. Using uh, Mu EX, for example, which I don't believe either of this, these players use. I don't believe they do. If anyone does, it would be Seb. But yes, again, because he can take advantage of the um... Galissapod's attack as well. Yeah. Um, so right now, Seb, he'll be getting two prizes. Oh, well, he needs to get uh, a field blow or delinquent to get rid of the stadium. And he'll still need um, one more Pokemon on the bench to yeah, be I'll KO be... in the Burnett. And he does get a field blow and a stadium of his own. This is turning into Stadium Wars 101 between these two excellent players. It's very uh, tactical play, so this is why we saw mm. Ryan hold on to the Lele the uh, turn before and the Oranguru because uh, obviously he would have been able to get rid of the Lele easily. But... Mm. And I think Ryan was okay with Bayonet getting KO'd because um, he's up by three prizes. So even yeah, exactly. if this KO Seb still is one prize behind. Um, he was able to get rid of the Rainbow Energy though. Mm. Um, so now both rainbows and the the psychic. A psychic, are in Ryan's and I think two DCE. Pile. I believe two DCE. Might Ryan be wrong. has a look and isn't very nice to us. No, Ryan's not nice. <laughs> uh, he's not nice at all. But um, you can see in this deck, he's still got a three sort of two Zoraks left. Ranguru. Um, Ryan. Ryan is a lovely person. Just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of threatening us in the chat. You can hear us now. Okay. <laughs> he's a little bit of time though, so he really needs. He hasn't got really many options. Um, he's only got one puzzle of time left. He's benched the Lele. He's got no way to get rid of the um, the stadium. Oh wait, he's got this other puzzle in his hand. Oh, um... mm, he might just have to mallow. He, he really needs the Oranguru down and start using resource manager uh, management or he's not going to be able to uh, keep up with Seb because Seb was able to get all his resources back um, yeah. earlier in the game. I can see why Ryan's taking quite a bit of time for this turn. It's a very hard decision. Is the other puzzle prized? Was that? No, no, it was, it was, it was in his deck, I believe. Okay, so I think he's just going to Ryan's just going to um, hit something to try and get back onto even prizes. So that means he will only need another KO on a GX. I think what he might do is go for the Wimpod because uh, Galissapod's GX attack will be taken out of Tapu Lele. So if he goes for the Wimpod, that eliminates that threat. Yep, and you are definitely right. That was a very good call, William. <laughs> um, I think but Ryan, now he's... I think Ryan should evolve. Please. <laughs> I think I think he's just holding on to it still. Uh, mm. If he evolves, then he's got. Um, it doesn't matter if his uh, if Seb goes on odd prizes. But yeah, uh, what Ryan really needs is uh, stuff to discard and draw his second um, puzzle of time. Mm. Well, he was able to get the Evo so today, so he I think he's saved... that or use it or use it. I, I think, think he's using possible. that. For the Zoroark next yeah, time. Yeah, and it discard the one in his hand, so, so it's good that he saved it. More. Yeah. And Ryan's 
screen is just going mental right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not your. It's not the eyes of the viewers. Yes, Ryan's uh, screen is uh, going a bit. It's crazy. flickering. It's flickering. So he's going to see counter catcher. He's going to bring up that Zoroa, and it is going to get KO'd. So Seb goes down to three prizes with only GXs on Ryan's side of the board. I guess Seb thinks that he can stall this out enough to win a prize race. He does have a big hand, yeah. um, but Ryan has only eight cards in the deck now. Um, nah, he won't he be paired with Latios. Really doing, he'll only play Latios if he needs a bench space, if he needs another Pokemon on the bench. So he could help uh, with a choice ban to do 60 to Azoa. Or... It would be doing 40 with a choice band. Oh, yeah, of course, weakness, uh, yeah. resistance and resistance, dark. Yeah. I guess to a Lele, I'll put a 30 on the Lele, and then maybe a full bench and Zoark KO the mm. Lele. How's he getting the Lele, though? How's he getting it in the active? <laughs> we'll, we'll, find to do that. we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Ryan wants to get those bayonets back into his deck, I think. Just because the Lele is probably his best option at getting a prize, getting those last two prizes. Yep, and he's doing he's... exactly that. He's gone through quite a lot. He's still got um, two DC available. I think one was in the in his deck. One might be in his prizes. Hmm. So Ryan chose to shuffle in two Shuppets and a Bayonet. Just because if he benches a Shuppet, he probably wants to bench two at the same time just so Seb can't take out both of them at the same yep. time. He does draw into Orangu and a Guzma, so we could be seeing a resource management here. Yes, exactly. He might bring up... I can see him if he he's, bring decides up the to get smart. Yeah, bring up the wind pods. Um, force uh, Seb to Guzma yeah. around it. So he, need a Guzma yeah, Orangu doesn't die. Um, and then... It wouldn't be the end of the world. He kept the Ibisoda, which I liked, because then he could get the Shuppet out very quickly. Uh, well, the Banette. The Banette, yeah. But I think, I think Ryan might have to resource manager this turn. He's, I think, he's just got seven cards left in deck. I think he needs to resource management in this turn, but then Seb goes down to two prizes and makes it even again, which I don't think is a bad thing. He has this uh, one prize lead, which can really help him out, which can, if he does resource management this turn, it is absolutely fine because he is in the lead. What would he resource manager for he'd, though? He'd probably put. Oh, he's not going to do that though. It's just opted to go for. He's just going. He's, he's trying to take uh, one prizes. He's just putting himself down to one prize. He's trying to take. Oh, he got an ace of roller Ooh, as well. Maybe that, that was, was what big. Ryan was going for. Maybe Ryan was just going for the 50 50 ace of roller play. Yeah. He does need a Guzma to take another prize, mind. though. If he does manage to get himself another Guzma, he can just take out that Wimpod on the bench, and he'll be winning this first match of round number two in the Sneak Attack Invitational. It's been quite a long uh, game one so far. It's 23 minutes. Um, so yes. I wonder, I expect another, what, about five minutes? It'll be... I if think... game two goes like this, it might... Seb That'd might be, nice. be considering conceding and going straight to game two now, but I think it's gone so far past. It's gone. It's almost to the halfway point of the fifty minutes allocated time. Well, Seb still isn't out of the game yet, so mm. he can just get up the Rangu, and then all he'll need is two more prizes. He won't be mm. benching down any more uh, one prize Pokemon, so mm. it'll be a fairly even board state. He doesn't uh, have to evolve the Galissapod. Which I think ruins Ryan's plans. <laughs> oh, a big time! But I, yeah. I don't think I don't think we had any doubt that Seb was Seb not was going, to going to definitely going to evolve that. Especially, I think if Ryan had just uh, resource management, it might have put him in a better position um, this like, next turn coming. But because um, then he could have mallowed for uh, a couple of cards like. Uh, Say if he put back in Puzzle of Times, he could have man he could have mallowed for a Puzzle of Time, maybe a shop it as well, and being able to uh, put a shop it down with Puzzle of Times to get some things back 
disrupt um, Seb's board a little bit with e hammers and possibly. But I think uh, Ryan just wanted to give himself a one prize out, and Seb evolved his winning condition. <laughs> it's it's quite interesting. I'm Ryan really needs to get rid of that stadium. Um, I think he will be using Uranguru next turn. Um, I think as long as the stadium is there, Galissapod cannot carry the Lele on Ryan's bench, and it cannot carry the Oranguru as well. So I think yes, Ryan right. wants to keep that stadium there for now until he needs to discard it to get a KO himself. So you're, you're, you're very right. Because um, he did put two shockets in, so you did think uh, Ryan's plan was to obviously... Get shuffled. Put, yeah. <laughs> get get shuffled, but maybe just put one on the bench or even two. Mm. Hope to evolve one and then parallel himself to get rid of the other shop it, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't expecting. But as long as the Orangu stays alive, it, it should be okay, that plan. We do see a puzzle of time from Seb. Be interesting to see if Seb gets rid... Okay, so he's got Enhanced Hammer and Oranguru, so he's going to... Seb's probably going to resource management this turn. He's going to Enhanced Hammer off the active, and then probably retreat into resource management. Nope, no, he's, he's just, just going to riot to it. attack. Okay, so that eliminates Ryan's Ace of Roller into Oranguru, attach the NG off of that Zoroark. Uh, so Ryan really needs to get a uh, puzzle of time this turn. As well as Ace of Roller. He's got six cards <laughs> left in deck and two puzzle of times. He's got one in his hand. He gets Kakui. Oh, he I'd trades love to see it one more time. Does he trade the Kakui? So I think he, he I think he has to, I think he might need to end to, this turn. He's gonna get rid of the shop it. And draws into two dead cards. He didn't get the second puzzle, but he had the Ace of off his prizes, which is huge because if he didn't get that, that would have been uh, game over. And that means Almost. that Ryan well, is not going to be able to resource management again. Ryan really would have liked a choice band there as well. Just do that little bit more damage to put it within range of a 100, uh, a 100 hit. Well, because he's got the Kukui, funny enough, he's got, he's got the he Kukui. Is, so he can he, KO with a double puzzle, get the choice band back and yeah. use the Kukui. So it doesn't even need to get rid of the stadium and put any more Pokemon on his bench. So if Seb can't heal this Pokemon, this Zorok in the active and doesn't retreat it, he's just going to retreat in resource management. So the Kukui out is not an option anymore. It might be game. If he doesn't, he, he didn't, um, he hasn't healed the damage. Um, Ryan's last two cards, we know one of them is definitely a puzzle. Yep. Um, so if Ryan can, what can Ryan get that gives him the game? So he gets a field blower. He will need, need the Guzma and a field blower. And he's Guzma. got, oh no, he hasn't, he hasn't got it. Oh. Gizmo Field Blower and a Choice Band. He needs, yeah, Gizmo Field Blower. It all depends band. on what Ryan's other card in his deck is. He also needs another two bench. Oh, well, no, he doesn't need any more bench. He doesn't. Pokemon, he doesn't even need a field. No. no, he does. He doesn't. No, well, need he needs blower. one more bench Pokemon because you can't use the Kakui as well. No, even with um, even with Choice Band, that's enough because that's one ten. No, that's nine. That's one hundred ninety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he will need one more bench Pokemon. He's he got the other Shop It in his deck. That's it. Yeah, he's got a Shop It and a Puzzle of Time. So he needs Choice no, Band. So he can't. Yeah, Guzma, Choice Band, Guzma, Field Blower, and, Guzma, and the Max but Potion. Just all these, all these that. theories have been thrown away. So he definitely needs the resource management. <laughs> 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 I think that turn. I think that a while I mentioned a few turns ago, which should have been the turn that Ryan resource management some more puzzles back into his deck. Yeah, I'm going to be, it'll be quite interested in talking to him about it afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not too familiar using Zorak uh, decks in general. Um, mm -hmm. I can't say I particularly like them. <laughs> um, I, I feel think... they're, they're too slow for my liking, so I'm mm -hmm. sure Ryan had a very good reason to do so. I think Ryan probably thought he could win on, on a, just racing for prizes and then Seb just did out something. Re out-resourced. Yeah. 
out resource management sim. <laughs> so Seb is going to resource that. management again, uh, getting even more resources back, and I think Ryan probably should consider scooping and going to game two. It's not even for <laughs> Rhino yet. Um, he, he, he could get a float stone. I'm just trying to think of all his options. Um, mm. Float stone, it's just like he needs that one more prize. Blower. He needs one more prize, and there's a tasty Oranguru with 120 HP. He needs Floatstone Field Blower. Maybe Ryan he has the shop it. And then all he needs to do is. He's got the Kukui! Retreat, use Kukui. Yep, that's his Wait, out. so he needs. Okay, so he needs off his puzzle. He, he needs off his puzzle, he needs to get Field Blower. Field Blower and a Floatstone. And that's it. Yep. The boy's a genius. <laughs> and we're, are we, are we, are we, the boy's a genius. Uh, it's taken us this long. Wait, oh yeah, it's taken, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's taken us this long to realise Ryan's actual play. But does Ryan realise it himself? I'm sure he must have known. <laughs> like, I'm sure the viewers are you watching. There's the float stone. Uh, no. no, 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 no. Oh, Ryan. Oh, you had it. You had it. Think, no, think, no. think, think, think. Oh, no. What's he doing that we don't know? What's he doing that we don't know? I don't know. It's resource management. He had to win. He had to win. No, he had Ryan, to win. Stop it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, so we're smarter than Ryan Morehouse. Uh, we are officially better than <laughs> We are than officially the smarter the than Ryan Morehouse. Arguably the best player in the it, UK. He must have so much going through his mind. <laughs> yeah, he has so much going through his head. I don't really blame him. I swear him to God, if he takes the flow set. I swear to God, if he takes the flow set. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him for seeing that. I don't blame him. I, I wonder at what that. moment. Do you think he's actually just realised? I, 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 I think he's realised. I think he's realised. I think he's realised. He's probably like, oh, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, Poor Ryan. Oh, you know no. what? We, we need a highlight reel. We need to put this in there. This is one of Brian Morehouse's greatest plays. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, Wait, no, can, we, can we just make sure he definitely? It was definitely game. So he could have yeah. double he had, puzzled. So he would have had a hundred on the board without Kukui. Yep. And yeah, he could have taken a KO. Yep. No, indeed. We only needed was float stone. Because I just wanted to make sure before we look like the stupid ones. Yeah, all he needed was floatstone field blower. Um, he would have attached the floatstone to his tapu lele, field blowered the, the parallel. Yeah. And then used Kukui uh, and retreat into Zoroark and bench the shop. It. But, okay. And then but let's see if he realizes at this turn. He's got. He, 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 he set himself up for it again. Wait, wait. Oranguru is definitely 120. Yeah. It has. It's 100% 120. <laughs> He set himself up again. He's still got the Kukuri in hand. Oh he no, in, Ryan, he, Ryan, he's Ryan. He's got three cards. He put in the double puzzle. Ryan, again. You, you, you've got to see it this turn. You've got to see it this turn. Please. Maybe, maybe this is Ryan. Maybe he's maybe he's playing 4D chess. Maybe he's going, he's pretending he hasn't got the KO. I and he's the just KO. running out of time. <laughs> okay, maybe Ryan. he's time stalling. Please see it. Please see it. Please see it. Oh. Just get rid of the mallow. You don't need the mallow. Just get rid of anything. No, 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 no,
Um, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, this is when Seb just. Has I've, I've actually tear. got a tear in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Well, there's 15 minutes left. Ryan screens going Spazzo again. Oh, I shouldn't really use that word. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, Wait, why, Ryan? Why? 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 I wonder if you know what I wonder if Seb even knows Ryan plays Kakuri. I, I don't know. <laughs> like Ryan didn't even have to uh, delinquent there. He he actually <laughs> he actually attached to the Lele, and he could have yeah. just retreated into the Zarak. <laughs> like. Yeah. He, he he literally could have just retreated. He didn't even need the float stone that turn. He could have just retreated into the Zarak. <laughs> but by the way, guys, we're not making fun of Ryan. Ryan Ryan's uh, a very good player. He's a top player. Uh, I, he's we we test with him every day. Well. He does not play Zarak uh, that no. much at the moment. I mean, he's played until like two weeks ago. All he played was Buzzwell. So. Um, uh, Buzzwell, Malamar, so he's he's just yeah. recently picked up Zark, so he is very new to the deck. Um, yeah. But Seb decides to see, uh, so I guess 15. Ryan out resourced him. He went for the out resource route instead of the. Uh, yeah, instead the, of the, the sure KO. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like when you're playing Zark these days, because of Oranguru, you kind of tend to forget you can actually attack with damage. Mm -hmm. And you just you go into this mindset that you have to out resource your opponent. So we're going to switch over to Seb's uh, perspective, perspective, perspective uh, for this next game. And Seb's video is frozen. In game number two, we're going to add yep. on an additional uh, three minutes. Let's say five minutes. Um. Let's say five. We'll say four then in the middle. Okay. <laughs> um. So they've Mr. got. Kedantic. <laughs> they've got they've got 15 minutes left. Mm -hmm. Has Seb's game crashed again? It kind of does look like it. Uh... <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. We're back. We're back. So Hi, guys. guys. <laughs> Working game here. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties uh... <laughs> here. <laughs> Seb will be going first this game. Seb will going first, yeah. And he start. Oh, oh no! He's got the ultra ball. He's got an ultra ball for a Bridget, which is kind of good. Well, considering what is in his hand, could have been could be better. But he has got access to a Bridget. Um, so it looks like he's just going to get rid of a float stone and field blow straight away. Um, opting to keep the end, so he has a supporter definitely for next turn. Quite interesting to get rid of the field blower though very early, and maybe not a double colorless because I think, I think he wants to keep double colorless so he has a guaranteed attack. Maybe he's scared of the obviously. Of, of course, there's always reason to be uh, cautious of the enhanced hammers. And we can confirm that Seb does actually play Mew as well, so he definitely uh, does not want to bench that in this matchup. He definitely doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it's definitely right though to pay me for the Buzzworld matchups, but yeah, not mm. for this one. Uh, I guess for... it, can, it can come in, it could come in handy. Um, I'm sure there are uh, options to use it, but this is what I was worried about. Um, he's just gone down to three cards. Um, if <laughs> if um, Ryan had a great opening hand and didn't need to use Bridget, <laughs> he could have just uh, paralleled. Uh, uh, Seb and delinquented him, <laughs> which would have been hilarious. But um, opting yeah. to budget, uh, I'm going to have a cheeky look to see if Ryan had the delinquent. He had the delinquent. I can confirm Ryan had a delinquent, but he yeah, did not stadium. have a stadium in his hand. Okay, well that's why he didn't do that then. Um, <laughs> what would you have done, Will, in that situation? Would you have delinquented with a lone Zarua? Would you have gone done that no, with I Roy think... Jenkins? I think just getting your board state set up and then saving a delinquent for later on is probably best. No, it's definitely uh, the safer <laughs> play. Um, yeah. So Seb does have access to another Zoroark as well. 
But Seb's gonna have to play quite quick now because he has only got eight minutes. Um, no, sorry, that's the thirteen extra, minutes. I'd say thirteen minutes. Yeah. So uh, twenty-five. So twenty-five past. So he's gonna have to go super fast. He's already taken the first prize, which will look very good. If especially if Ryan hasn't got anything else in hand. He does get hit another Wimpod out of the discard. He does have Oranguru and another Zora in hand. I think he just wants to limit the amount Parallel will be disrupting him yeah, by, exactly. by not playing any more bench. 100 um, damage is more than enough for now. Well, it's just bang on enough, really. <laughs> he does get another Zoroark with that N. Um, what do you think Brian's going to do here? He hasn't got a Zoroark out um, yet. I think he just needs to hit the active. Oh, yeah, something. he has his arc that is low. Yeah, he just needs to hit something. Anything. And it looks like we've got technical difficulties on Ryan's side now. It's on both sides, like... <laughs> um, oh, Seb's screen's really jumpy, Ryan's screen keeps flickering in and out. Oh, okay, so Tapu Kyo's on option. <laughs> but it's quite unfortunate right? it hasn't hit his Zorak turn 2. Uh, even mm. though his step's very limited on time, it looks like he could uh, he could do it if he plays fast enough. He's got a Gizmo in hand, he can take another single prize. Um, there's a Tapu Lele on the board, which is always an option. Do you for, go after um, the Bayonet or the Zorak? For cutting go, across GX. The Zorua there, yeah. If Seb can draw into a Grass Energy and get Wimpod Galissapod set up, he would be in a very good position. He's got one Galissapod. Mm -hmm, he's got another Wimpod. He has Ace of in hand and a Guzma. He, so I don't believe enough. he plays... Uh, he doesn't play... Uh, here, does he? Sorry? Multi-switch? No, I don't think so. Because that would be quite cool. To He's got the choice band in hand. This isn't Zora Rock. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Would have been a cool play in either, uh, either way though. Would have been nice mm -hmm. to see yeah. that. It looks like he might just be attacking doing 100 with LLA this turn though. Or We're going to see another end from Ryan trying to disrupt Seb's setup some more. Although it wouldn't be a bad play though setup. because if LLA got uh, damaged, um, mm. The Ace Roller it, he wouldn't be affected by Parallel and he would use uh, um, Wonder Tank again if mm. needed. But it looks like Ryan was able to get two Zoraks that turn, which he desperately needed. And he got the DC, so a nice healthy energy drive for 100. And that DC is not going to see much more life because Seb has an Enhanced Hammer in hand, as well as a Parallel, to stop Ryan from benching anything else. Yeah, that um, doesn't put uh, Ryan in a great position. No. Uh, we've got nine minutes left, and Seb is he's playing very fast, and trained in a counter catcher away, so he doesn't want to kill the shop yet, but there's no reason he'd want to. He got the max potion, but he doesn't have another DC to replace it or a float stone. I think so he's, he's just going to retreat into Galissapod. Oh, of course, and then Max Potion. Yeah. Oh, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> and then Enhanced Hammer, and then hit Tapu Lele for 120 with the Galissapod's first attack, first impression. Which is pretty big, especially if Ryan does not oh, have. It's 100 any damage reason. because of. Ah, oh, of course, of course, the stadium, yeah. yeah. But the um, it doesn't shouldn't make too much of a difference if it can't be healed off, because Zark will be doing the rest of the damage. Mm -hmm. uh, It'd be interesting to see if Ryan has an Ace of Roller here, um, just to pick up that Tapu Lele, just get that damage off, try and stall out a little bit more. Um, I should have put I, put. I should have put in the chat though. Time at twenty twenty five, uh, eight twenty five p.m. Hopefully they'll see it. Maybe it'll pop up in the bottom corner for them. 
And it looks like Ryan got the Ace of Roller, which is huge. Roller, which is good. I think Seb, if he plays more than one Ace of Roller, I think he plays one. But I'm not too sure on the count. It might be two. If he plays another one, he will he will be able to get it with the Tapulele and heal off the Galissapod. Hmm. But what is interesting right now, uh, he can actually get the. Um, oh, he got the uh, choice ban. I was going to just say he can KO the uh, Tapulele if he gets a Guzma. Uh, and a double colorless. But I, think he's just, I think he's just going to attach to his Tapulele. No. He's thinking about it. He was it's definitely not... thinking about it. He was thinking about what his best option might be. I think he's trying to bait Ryan into using the Acer Roller on this just for the 10 damage. Um, or bait him into evolving into Bayonet to move that 10 damage off. Hmm. I hope he didn't forget about the damage reduction. It was quite interesting. I that. don't think he did. I don't think... I think Seb's the type of person who calculates everything. Oh no, of course though. No. Seb... Seb's better than me. I... <laughs> <laughs> he's better than me. He knows what he's doing. He's played to stand. I played this deck once at a tournament and it did not go well. We will not oh, talk about what happened, it, but we'll just say I, I I just went home very sad. Rob made the mistake no, 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 of no, only no. testing it online. Let's put it that way. He didn't well, test it in real life before the tournament. So um, I was a bit confused <laughs> when playing. Mistakes uh, were made. Mistakes <laughs> were made and these mistakes will never be spoken of. But back and to the game anyway. He it did get like... punished for them at the event. He got looks... um, some things on his record. Put it that way. <laughs> Thanks, Will. <laughs> um, it Everyone looks like mistakes. Ryan is playing an end. Uh, he needs a field blower and one bench Pokemon to be able to KO this uh, Galissapod. I'm still very interested to why um, uh, Seb opted to attack. Um, he didn't use any trade. Did he, did he use trade that turn? He only used maybe um, one or none. I can't really remember. I think he I might don't think have he used did. one. I don't think he used all of them, though. Um, but it looks like Ryan got the field blow, which was huge, and he got the Tapu Lele hmm. uh, to do the extra 20 damage. And he's getting a Guzma to uh, set himself up for a KO the next turn. Now, the issue... Make... Sorry. So the issue with putting the 10 damage onto the Zorak, though, is... Uh, Ryan's able to now KO the uh, Tapu Lele with a uh, choice ban Burnett, which you spoke of at the beginning mm. of this uh, video. Yeah. So, that might have been a bit of a misplay by Seb. Uh, we say, like, 10 damage, it all adds up, and in, in this instance, it might definitely add up at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Seb gets a nice hand to discard a couple of Bridget's there. Um with trades. Let's see if Seb draws anything he can use to help him get a KO on anything. <laughs> he has Guzma and a, and a double colorless, so he could get a KO potentially on the shop hit, but again, I think he really wants that to be a bayonet before he KOs it. No, he does, but uh, Ryan's uh, definitely uh, playing Ryan's... it out. He's only going to use the bayonet when he needs to, so he got the just damage the Zorak. Uh, Zura, uh, mm -hmm. As you can see, Seb's taking his turns turns very quickly since there's only four minutes left. Yep, four and minutes it's... left, and then it will be turn zero, turn one, turn two, turn three. Yes, just like how it is in real life, we can do the same thing online. And <laughs> if it was, if this was game three, uh, top eight rules would apply. So it would be whoever would be ahead on prizes would win and go through. But since they're both on the same amount of prizes, I believe. And eight. since. The first Since game two hasn't finished, uh, Ryan would go through because he won game one. Yes. If if uh, both players are on the same amount of prizes in game three... It would be whoever takes the first prize, am I correct? Yes, or the first win condition, yes. Yeah. But it looks like you've got the Ace Roller. He hasn't got any other Zoraks on the bench. And he's just dealing 110 damage. Uh, as we can see, Seb and Seb can. has Ace Roller in his yeah, hand. Yeah, he as well. can use an Ace Roller in return. And it just looks like Ryan might just be um, playing it out now. Um, 
Seb also has ace, access to Acerella next turn with those two Puzzle of Time in his hand. Um, just trying would, to think. Would, if you were Seb, would you maybe. This. Is it time now to maybe put down the Wind Pod and maybe just go for it? Uh, I put think you put the, the, uh, put the DC down. onto the Zoar, carry the baby Zorua, carry the Shuppet, and then try and get that uh, crossing cut GX onto the Tapu Lele. I think you you really need to try and take as many prizes as possible now. He's opted for the N instead. Because right now he just needs to chain Gizmas. Because uh, Ryan won't be evolving the Shuppet. And he's put Oranguru down. Um, Probably trying to just shuffle some more resources back in. Oh, both Galissapods are in the discard pile, so... I think that Seb just needs to resource management something back in so he can get them back. Um, so he can actually do the play that you were talking about. Um, with a full bench is uh, a bit hard to there, but obviously he mm. could also uh, delinquent or field blow at the stadium. Yeah. And uh, parallel himself, but then he'll need to field blow that again. <laughs> um, it'd be a long run. And that's the problem with these uh, these decks, I guess. The game one usually takes so long. You don't have uh, uh, you don't have uh, enough time to finish game two. So it's all about uh, probably knowing when you've lost mm. game one to just scoop and go into game two as quick as possible. Yeah. But it's just it's because game one was so close. It was just very hard to tell. Uh, well. It would have been a bit over, a bit quicker if Ryan saw the Kukui play. <laughs> yeah. If Ryan saw the Kukui play, it would have been over a little bit quicker and Seb would have had a little bit more time to be able to do what he needed to do to uh, go a bit further ahead in this matchup and get the KOs he needed. But I think because there's one minute left of time now, he's probably going to get about five more turns. Uh, not even that, it's only 15 seconds before it's 25 past eight. Okay. So at the most, Seb is getting. He, he might be turn zero, and then Ryan will be turn one. Seb will be turn two. Ryan will be turn three. So Seb will get another two turns out of this. Um, it is time now. <laughs> I got to type out time on the round. Always want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, what's going on here? Maybe Ryan's checking the chat there. Um, we're we're looking at Seb. Oh. oh yeah, Seb, Seb knows he can't win in the next, uh, next two, two turns. turns yeah. that he would have we are here with okay. both Ryan and Seb for a post-game interview. Um, so, if um, Ryan, since you won, if you'd like to start on, how did you feel about the match and the matchup going into this? It was pretty horrible. Like I didn't really know how to play against it. And once we started playing, the first game was like really, really hard to work out. And we got to like this horrible point where we just sort of Oranguru in, but because Seb dead drew a bit. And the game took so long, I was like able to pull it out because Seb ended up scooping me because I had I was ahead by two prizes and he had like three prizes left. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, thing... Interesting you say that. Actually. Interesting you say that actually, Ryan. Um, you had Kukui in hand, right? Yeah. You had two puzzle of times. Am I correct? Yeah. You had access to field blower and a choice, and uh, not a choice band. Field um, blower and, and a float stone. And a float stone. You Probably. could have field blowed the and... stadium, put the shopper on the bench, Kakuri, and do 120 damage to the Oranguru. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool, boys. It, it was pretty cool. And, um, we, were, we, were, we were like, how, um, Seb, obviously, Seb, were you aware that he played Kakuri? Can you hear me now, guys? Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, we, we can. can now. Yeah, yeah. Cool. my my Mac just completely froze out of me at the end, so I wasn't able to to quit uh -huh. PCGA. Oh no worries. Right. Uh, but uh, Seb, did you know that uh, Ryan played Kakuri? I didn't know. I didn't even um, think about it as an option. He had game in hand two or three turns, <laughs> and we were like, Ryan must be playing 4D chess. Like he must be, uh, he must be going for the time. He's got the game. He knows he's only going to be able to resource manager and yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Ryan yeah, could have actually I was, probably so, 10 minutes earlier. I think, <laughs> I think what I'd done is, like, <laughs> I had sort of, I wish I went for 4D chess, that'd be so awesome, but I was <laughs> in Lele, I honestly thought I must have had, like, my only out was killing this Lele, so I didn't see the Kakui. Yeah. So, that would have been pretty cool as well. 
it's mm-hmm. like you, you just get i was just saying uh well for commentary uh that you just get so focused on yeah. out resourcing your opponent yeah sometimes you forget about just like what you can actually I just entirely like forgot that i could just kill that with like kakui i just like i worked it all out that i could get the shuppet onto the bench but then i'd be like short of killing it mm. so i was like ah well if, if only you had a plus 20 damage for, only had uh, plus 20 damage. <laughs> and i was like oh, i won't win the game anyways because i need to get two prizes and i was like oh yeah i have one prize left whoopsies yeah. It, it's definitely a very um, a very long winded uh, matchup because you both play max potions, you both play ace to roller. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, but I'd like to ask you about a play in the second game at the end. Obviously, you were very short on time and you were doing as much as you can. Yeah. Um, you opted to Ranguru that uh, in the last turn instead of maybe Guzmaring yeah. the Zerua to maybe take a single prize and then maybe another single prize on the Shuppet. Yeah, well my, my thinking was there. Um, I was trying to get as much value as possible from Ranguru when I had Parallel facing him because I right. feel like that's kind of the only... well the best time for me to use it um, because if, if I have Parallel facing Neil there's no Parallel in play he easily kills it, and Rangaroo's it kind of excels if it doesn't get knocked out, or they have to use something else and kill it. So my thinking no, was try get yeah. try get as much value from that as possible. But yeah, I, I didn't realize we were so short on time. So yeah, I didn't think we were that short on time. Um, <laughs> and just, I extended it as well. Yeah. yeah. And ju- sorry, just one more question. Um, you know the ten damage you put onto? Yeah, I misclicked. Uh... Yeah, I misclicked. Oh, yeah. oh right. Okay. I, me- I meant to trade. I, th- I don't know what was going on there. Oh but... no. I saw that. I was like, uh, 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 uh. And yeah, I was like, maybe, it. maybe he's five D chessing me, and I'm like, it's <laughs> 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 gonna ace the roller it and ruin me. Yeah, yeah no, that was of chess soon. Just, just, just a misclick. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that game would have finished anyway, so I don't think it matters. So yeah. going into the losers bracket now, Seb, um, is there? Are you confident that you could uh, maybe work your way through that to get to the final? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I'm, I'm, Seb is always confident. What are you? Talking <laughs> about? I'm, I'm pretty happy with Zora Pod. I played it a lot, and I think. It's mm. fairly 50-50 versus everything, so I feel like I can manage my way through every matchup, but... Well, who who would, who would uh, Seb be playing? I think he's going to... I think you're playing Scott. I think you're playing your dad. Oh, man. <laughs> you always seem to get that, whether it's in tournaments in real life or online, you guys are always destined to play each other. <laughs> it just happens. I think Seb cut out. Has Seb died? Oh no. He has. Seb's Mac is uh, playing all sorts of tricks on him. I've um, had some interesting computers not being happy today. No, so yeah, Seb, it Seb was a seems bit quite flickering on your side, Ryan. Seb that... seems quite uh, confident coming in, going into the losers bracket now, and. Um, and well, we use up against uh, Zoro Rock, which uh, should be a good matchup. It's then. a very positive matchup, I would say, for mm-hmm. Seb. But it'll be another one of those Ace Zero Living. Um, mm-hmm. But it, it is one less damage output done by Zoro Rock. And Zoro Rock, I don't believe, plays Oranguru. I'm not sure about Scott's list. I don't know. It does play um, unusual energies. So. <laughs> so that'll be quite interesting to see because Enhanced Hammer won't be as effective. Mm-hmm. So uh, Ryan, continuing in the winners bracket, is there any are there any matchups that you're kind of afraid of uh, going uh, forward? If there's anything with like a rock, I think I just lose. So that's cool. Uh, in- interesting, you say that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got a like a rock or something. <laughs> you're up um, against Joe with Joe Buzz Bernard. Rock. Ah, uh, that's pretty much like, like it's not an auto loss, but it's pretty damn hard because it's like a yeah. yeah. But because you you've play... got the Burnett, you've got Burnett, so I've got Burnett, so you can deal with the buzz walls, but you can't you like Burnett the Lycan and... rock is the biggest issue. Yeah, you got to target down them rock roughs. You got Burnett and Lycan, uh, not Lycan rock, uh, Latios. So yeah, you should be able yes. to at least spread out a bit of damage, wrangle your way through one game. And hopefully get lucky in another one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just do your tactics of not seeing a play on purpose. Oh, yeah. Stooling outside. Oh, my 40, my 40 I'll play that. 
I'm sure you're gonna watch. I'm sure you're gonna watch that part back and just. Slap no, I, I can literally. I can already see see it. It's like, oh yeah, I play Kakui. I can KO this for game. Like we thought, we been... thought you realised that at one Before point. You like, it, you paused, yeah. like you paused for about a good ten seconds, and you yeah. went right back into your discard. And you're like, <laughs> and then you it's like you grabbed a delinquent, and we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, so focused on this, like, <laughs> crazy Bennett play to KO this, um, to KO the Lele, I was like, well, this is how I win, right? There's no other way, just entirely forgot. But mm. you won anyway, which is the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I congratulations, guess. Ryan, for yeah. moving forward and continuing in the winner's bracket. Good luck in the next round against Joe sure. Bernard. It's going to be a very good matchup indeed so make sure that you tune in for that as well hello guys it's will from team sneak attack here thank you for watching this video please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when we upload our next video remember to leave a comment in the comment section down below and i hope to see you in the next video bye